What's up guys, welcome to my video on the HG Home Run Connect device. Um, as you may have seen on my Twitter, I've posted a few screenshots on what I've been getting up to on this device over the last few couple of days. And so I thought I'd better show you this because I've got quite a positive response on there. And also um, I've done a demo with a few friends of mine and they are pretty impressed. So um, as you can see, I bought the device there. <coughs> um, it cost me £99. Uh, I got mine from Amazon. Um, but if you go to hdhomerun.net, you can buy direct from there. It's €145 Euros for this device, so roughly €100. UK pounds. And delivery is literally um, two, three days tops, really. So uh, speedy delivery, which is always good. As you can see, there's this device there, which is already connected up. I've got my iPad there, which I'll show you something in a minute about that. I've got a coax um, adapter there, which I'll talk to you about that in a minute. And this is the actual box itself. So um, let's open up the box. As you can see, you've got a quick start guide. I'll show you in that in a minute. That's where the device sits. And on the right hand side was the power. And as you can see, there's a just under a two meter Cat5 Ethernet cable, which comes with the box. I don't personally need that as I run Ethernet around my house. Um, so that's the box. It's got a little detail around uh, on the box what it's all about. Um, obviously, it's the broadcast over antennae. <coughs> device and you can use it over Wi-Fi or hard wire as all you guys know I like to run my stuff stuff on hard wire only and on the back of the box it's got a bit of a diagram there you can see that uh, how it all goes together around your network so pretty simple really um, I actually um, had this I've got this running for two days I've had some friends around give a demo and they're really impressed and they're looking to buy this device as well uh, the instructions that come with it, as you can see there's only two steps it literally takes uh, 10 minutes when I've done my first initial setup there is a update for the device which it automatically does that while you're setting it up um, I've done mine on Mac and um, it opened up terminal and it pinged the update straight away straight away on the firmware and done it and it was done within literally two three minutes windows will be the same sort of setup again you just hit your windows tab when you go to myhdhomerun.com uh, follow the instructions really really simple um yeah really 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 impressed so far so that's the box and the setup um let's talk about this little adapter Okay, so most of the guys in the UK, or myself at least, don't really have, uh, well, I don't really use my aerial because I have a sky dish and I was pretty concerned. I was thinking, hang on a minute, obviously I've got a sky dish which runs an F type connector, uh, which this would screw into. And obviously I went and, went and bought an adapter which goes out to a coax. Um, I tried this and it does not work. So the actual sky um, aerial you've got or dish, points in the wrong direction to pick up the channels for this device. Um, I spent a good three, four hours uh, testing this out and it does not work. So you have to use your aerial um, on your property. Now, I don't, I didn't have an aerial. Well, I have a aerial, aerial on top of the um, house. Uh, it's got um, no outlets on there because it was all um, chopped off ages ago. So I quickly ran an LMB cable from the aerial, which is in my loft and down to my lounge, which is here, you can see there. So there's my coax uh, going into the device. My ethernet cable, which has gone green, which is very important, you do not want it red. And then there's the power. And as you can see on the front, you'll have two green lights there. So that basically is your home run receiver, basically. What it does, connected to obviously your aerial, which picks up all your UK TV, which I'm in the UK, again, whatever country you're in, it will pick it up in your area. Your ethernet, which I always run for stability and also maximum um, speed, and also your power, and that's it. So this is no good. That will not work. So do not think that you can plug your Sky um, F-Type into an adapter and for it to pick up the channels because it doesn't work. So, so that's the device, and it's now currently connected to my network, and then now I can now view my UK TV anywhere on around my network, like um, tablet, phone, Kodi device, which I'll get to later on, and uh, literally, yeah, view the channels. <laughs> so here's my iPad. Now, if you go to the uh, home uh, app store, sorry, and you type in HD Home Run, there's not an actual official uh, app that I can find on iPhone or iPad, but you do get this that comes up, which is the Insta TV Pro. Now, I've reinstalled this, it's free, and what it does, as you can see there guys, it will find that the HD Home Run on your network and you'll hit next 
and then literally it will ask your country or origin. So we obviously want UK, wherever you are. You just um, select the one you want. You go back and then you just hit next. Don't worry about the other two um, lists. Again, press next and then press confirm. And now it will pick up literally scanning the channels on your um, antennae up on your roof or in your loft. And as you can see, mine's picked up 128 channels. So we'll click save and it will save it. And now you can bring up a list and you'll be able to start viewing. So as you can see there, guys, um, I can hit BBC One, for example. And also, obviously, you get the HD channels as well. Again, these will only work over wired, not SD. And um, all, obviously, the Wi-Fi ones will be SD, which is this, as you can see. So you can see it running OK. And so we'll uh, stretch the screen so you guys can see. And obviously, that's BBC One, and it's running perfectly SD. And that's just via my tablet. OK, so that's part one of the video. In the next part, you'll see is that me setting up on Kodi and obviously talking a bit more about the network um, that how you can run it over your network and do all sorts of things like uh, pause it and play and all kinds of stuff. So I'll see you guys in a sec.